I'm preparing shredded chicken for the back country. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the fat. You don't want to leave fat in your meats that you're going to dehydrate because the fat will cause it to go rancid uh, during storage. I'm adding salt. I'm adding a pinch of red pepper flakes. I'm mincing a clove of garlic, putting in some onion. The chicken will go into the crock pot with some chicken broth. We've got our chicken in the crock pot and we'll add some chicken broth. We'll put this on a low setting and we'll cover the crock pot. And we'll... I'm gonna dehydrate my edamame. It's frozen edamame. I'll just put it in one of these um, dehydrator trays. And the manufacturer recommends fruits and vegetables be dehydrated at 135F. And start. This is what my dehydrated edamame looks like. Our chicken has been prepared in the crock pot and now we're ready to shred it with a fork. Now we can take our shredded chicken and put it on a food dehydrator tray. So we've got the chicken in the dehydrator, put the cover on. We always want to dehydrate to the manufacturer's instructions. Uh, meats are cooked at 160 degrees F. This is what the chicken looks like when it's ready. It's dry and crumbly. For this recipe, we need peanut butter. I use a jar of peanut butter if I'm making this for at home. And for the back country, I'll use a packet of peanut butter and carry that separately. I'm putting in some rice vinegar. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Grated ginger, and you can use fresh or freeze dried or whatever you have. Sesame oil, Asian chili sauce. Um, since it's for back country, I'm going to carry my peanut butter. We made a delicious sweet chili sauce for Asian noodles. And if we want it to be a peanut sauce, we can bring peanut butter to mix in. So you can pack this in a bottle or you can put it in a freezer pouch. So I'm going to try this little trick and make a little pouch for my sauce. I've got this leftover piece of vacuum sealed bag and I've sealed these edges. So I'll trim the edges and I'll cut across the top to open up the pouch and then I'll freeze the contents and when it's frozen I'll vacuum seal it closed. Okay, so I'm going to stand this up in a spare plastic container that I just have laying around the house and put this in the freezer. I've got a clean paper towel here. One of the things that will be important is that the inside of the top of the bag where I want to seal it, that that be clean. So I'm just going to wipe it with a paper towel a little bit. Once this is frozen, I should be able to seal this off with my vacuum sealer without sucking the liquid into the vacuum sealer machine. These soba noodles cook in about three minutes according to the instructions. They come in the perfect size two ounce bundle that's just right for our family. Um, that's about a one inch diameter handful of soba noodles. If you're really hungry you'll need a little more of this. We can finish the dish by sprinkling some nuts on the top. Now I'm going to make a small pouch for the nuts. 
cutting a small freezer bag. I'm sealing the edges. Okay, now I've got seals four ways. I'll trim the edges and I'll cut an opening at the top. My nut topping is ready to seal across the top. And then we'll trim the top off and we're done. There's our nuts. We'll put this all together now. We've got everything all together in one bag and we'll seal it up. Everything we need for a meal in this bag. We have our noodles, we have our edamame, we have our ch shredded chicken, we have our sauce packet, and we have our peanuts. And this can be eaten as soba noodles. And if you want the sauce to be a peanut sauce, then you also add some peanut butter when you cook it. So this is what we need for our backcountry meal. Before I put this in the freezer, I'm going to put a note on this to remember to bring peanut butter when I pack this. And I'm going to date it, state what's in the package, and put it in the freezer. Here's my Asian noodle dish. I'll put this in the freezer. For my cooking. I'll just get the ice off of there. All right, there's my little makeshift stool with the ice scraped off. It's a nice day. It's about 29F right now, which is about minus one or two C. We're covering the food just enough with water. Just enough to cover the food and we're going to bring it to a boil. Normally I'd put my pot into a cozy and let the food soak and sit around and relax and then eat it maybe in 15 minutes to 30 minutes. But since I'm hiking and it's very cold, I might put my food into a thermos and let it absorb the water. So I've been hiking around in the cold with my thermos and hopefully this stayed warm. Um, normally I would just do this at a rest spot or in camp and let it sit and come back to it later. But since it's cold, I didn't want to sit around um, just waiting in the cold. So I wanted to keep moving. Um, I've been hiking with this for a while, so I hope it's still warm. All I have left to do is to uh, add my sauce, add my garnish, and mix in my peanut butter. Unfortunately, I forgot my peanut butter. So we are going to have the noodles with Asian chili sauce, and we are going to put our garnish on it. At home, I would garnish with fresh vegetables and like green onions and carrots or something like that. But out here, it's going to be peanuts. So our peanut sauce will not have peanut butter in it, but we will garnish with peanuts. Can you see what this looks like? All of the cooking water has soaked into the noodles and the chicken and the edamame, so it's not loose with water. So what I would do if I had remembered my peanut butter is I'd put my peanut butter in here, add my sauce, stir it up and garnish with peanuts. And if my peanut butter wasn't very loose, I'd boil some water, add maybe a quarter cup or a half a cup of boiling water to this just to loosen everything up. So I'm gonna shake my sauce, make sure everybody, everything is well mixed. In goes the sauce. We'll mix that in so we get good flavors throughout the dish. I 
And now for my garnish. This is really good. It's warm, but it's not hot anymore. I waited too long. Um, these noodles happen to be soba noodles. This is really good with rice noodles. This is really good. Mm. Warm food on a cold hike. The dehydrated soybeans came out really good. The edamame is tender. The peanuts add a good crunch. The noodles are tender and the chicken is tender. And let me just say, the use of the crushed red pepper when um, preparing the shredded chicken, big difference. It's delicious. This is good. I'm not sure how far from my car I am. I need to check. I am estimating I'm about four miles, maybe three and a half. Um, warm food in my stomach, and I'm feeling good and ready to enjoy the rest of my hike. Well, signing off from the Ice Age Trail, that's all for now. Let's get outdoors and keep our wild places wild. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe.